Canoe Live. With each passing day, more and more food products are linked to the Listeriosis outbreak. Health officials have pulled sandwiches and sandwich platters from more grocery stores, including Sobeys and Costco. The latest recall has Canadians concerned over what they should and shouldn't eat. There have been more than a dozen deaths linked with the outbreak. And with an incubation period of nearly three months, more cases will undoubtedly surface. Much of the tainted items were processed at the Maple Leaf Foods plant in Toronto. The CEO of the company says the site will stay closed until an investigation into the outbreak is completed. Well, joining us now on the line is Ben Chapman, a Ph.D. student at the University of Guelph who works with the International Food Safety Network. Ben, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Well, Maple Leaf Foods president and CEO has said that the Canadian food system, a safety system, is not to blame for this listeria outbreak. What are the possibilities for what went wrong in the company's Toronto plant? Well, listeria is a, it's a nasty pathogen. It's kind of ubiquitous. It's found all over the environment. So once it gets into a processing situation, uh, it's really hard to get it out. And processing situations, processing plants like this one, you look at um, a nice temperature, a great spot for it to live. And it can really be introduced in lots of different ways. It can come in on someone's shoes, it can come in on packaging. And once it gets in the system, it's really hard to, to get it out. Now, the federal government is considering allowing the irradiation of meat to reduce bacteria. What are the concerns with using this practice? Well, um, it really depends on the meat, uh, actually, on whether, how effective it is and whether it's been approved elsewhere. Um, it's been approved, uh, radiation's been approved for use in ground beef in the U.S. since 1997, but it's not actually allowed yet on deli meats. Uh, and radiation, the way I look at it, it's a tool. It's not a magic bullet. Uh, in the U.S., they've been using it for, for over 10 years, and you still have similar uh, outbreaks to what we see here in Canada. Well, Ottawa has also said it will hire more food inspectors. How much do you think that'll help? Well, to me, this really isn't a, an inspection issue. And Mr. McCain from Maple Leaf has really said the same thing. He's really owned this situation as being Maple Leaf. And it's about knowing the risks involved with the process from the industry standpoint, knowing how to control them and have systems in place to figure out when they're not working. Uh, that's what the environmental testing in a processing plant's all about. And he's mentioned that they take, you know, they take around 3,000 samples each year to figure out whether they have Listeria into their system. And to me, it's in Maple Leaf's hands. They need to figure out how Listeria got in and uh, if they need to change their procedures to address it. Uh, what do you think we can learn from this? I mean, what steps should we be taking now uh, to prevent something like this from happening again? Well, I think that one of the big things, uh, as from a consumer standpoint, really, is to, to ask a lot of questions, to go through um, when you're buying food, doesn't matter where it is, whether it's at the grocery store, at a restaurant, at a farmer's market, ask questions about what people are doing to control the risks and if they know how to handle those things. And we don't all have to be food science or food safety specialists to do it. Asking that question uh, and uh, sort of bringing it to the forefront puts pressure on industry and government and researchers to do a better job. Well, obviously a lot of folks are very wary about buying deli meats, so if they do continue to buy them, is there anything that we can do to make sure that they're not contaminated? Well, especially with deli meats, the biggest thing that we can do is reheat it. Uh, making sure that we get up to 145 degrees Fahrenheit is, is really what we want to do. That'll kill the listeria, and that's the biggest thing. I think the, the other big thing around this outbreak has been the messaging to consumers around the products, especially pregnant women and immunocompromised. Um, listeria, in my opinion, has a ridiculously high fatality rate. It's about um, you know 25 to 30 percent of people that get this infection and are hospitalized with it mm -hmm. end up dying from it. Um, it's 20 times more to, likely to infect a pregnant woman than a, health, than a healthy uh, adult. And my message is to, if you're in these uh, groups, to avoid these products, avoid deli meats, because you don't know whether there's listeria in them at Certainly. all. Well, Ben, we appreciate your time. Thank you for talking to us tonight. Great, thank you. For a full list of the food products that have been recalled, you can log on to inspection.gc.ca. Well, for most people, the movie.